Hello and welcome to the first part in a series of tutorials where I will be showing you how you can build your very own text editor similar to Microsoft Word and OpenOffice. By the end of this first part you should have something that looks a bit like this where we have our text box where we can type in any text we want hello from analyst rising and then we also have four buttons at the top they all do different functions so the first button will bolden the second button will underline and the third button will italicize and then I've also added a fourth button which just gets rid of everything and puts it back to normal so let's get started first things first is let's exit out of here and then now we can start so the first thing we need to do is import the TK into module and I've given it the alias of TKR. Wherever we reference TKR, we're calling the TK into module. The next thing we need to do is create our main screen for everything to go into. And I've done this by typing in TKR.TK, capital T, lower K. And I've given that the variable screen. So screen is the name of our main screen. Then I've specified a few things like the geometry we're typing in screen.geometry and then specifying a geometry I've also given it a background by typing in screen.configure then in brackets type in bg equals then I've specified a color in this case it's hashtag 49 capital A in quotation marks and that color is a sort of dark sort of turquoise color I've then given it an awesome title by typing in screen.title then in brackets and quotation marks specifying a name in this case text editor build what I also like to do is go down and type in tkr.mainloop if you leave some space and then type in tkr.mainloop and then in this space is where everything else will go into and what that enables us to do is run the code without having any errors and we can also see any updates as we go along for example Let's see what we have done most recently right now. We should have a main screen. And we do. We have text editor build as our title. Notice that it's got a specified size and it's got a sort of dark turquoisey background color. Cool. Let's now add our text box. Firstly, we need to create it and register it. And then we need to pop it into our screen. So let's create it and register it. And to create a text box, we use the text function in the TK into module. If we type in tkr.text, text with a capital T, and then in brackets, we type in screen, which is the name of our main screen and where the text box will go into. And then we specified a few paddings of border width by typing bd equals two and insert border width equals three. That will push the text away from the sides of the text box and enable us to read the first letters very clearly. Also, I've given this text box a specified width and height by typing in width equals and then 135 for width and height by typing in height equals and then 40. Now that we've created it and registered it, we now need to pop it into our main screen. We just show it up and we do that by typing in textbox.grid and then row equals one and column span equals four. So this will start on the first row and then it will go across four columns. And we can see what we've got by running it and we should have a very nice text box. Now with TK enter rows do start at zero but because we haven't added our buttons yet and this is the first widget that's gone in it goes straight to the top and now we can test test this text box out and what we can do is just type in some text so hello space works analyst rising and let's take tab let's also check to see if we can capitalize we can pretty awesome and now what we can do is we can add our buttons so what we're going to do is we're going to enable our text to become bold or italic and we want to also be able to underline our text and get rid of our bold or underline or italicize if we want to. 
So let's create our first button, which is bold. So what we need to do firstly is create our button. So let's do that by typing in tkr.button with a capital B, button. Then our button's gonna go into the main screen, similar to the text box. And the text that's gonna be displayed on the button is just B, B for bold. And that's a letter, so it needs to be in quotation marks. Okay, we specified a height and a width of the button, typing in height equals two and width equals two. And then after that, what we need to do is create a command that will be done when the button is pressed. In this case, it's bolden. So if you type in command equals, and then in this case, bold one, what we need to do now is create what bold one is. So bold one is a specified command, but at the moment it doesn't do anything because we haven't created that command. So let's go and create that command now. If you go up, if we type in, I'll create our first function our first by typing in def space bold one. So how this will work with bold, underline, italicize, and then normalize is we will add tags to the text that we select. And then whatever that tag is, we'll either bolden our selection or underline our selection and so on. So this first one, we want our selection to bolden. So if we type in def space bold one and then in brackets and then a colon and then press enter, we have now created our first function called bold one. And what we can do now below there is specify a few commands that we want to run when bold one function is selected. In this case, we want to add, we want to bolden the text that we select in our text box. So what you need to do now is select our text in the text box. So let's do that by typing in textbox one dot tag underscore add. So textbox one is the name of our text box that we created earlier. And tag underscore add will add a tag to our selection. In this case, we want it to bolden. So if we type in BT in quotation marks, and then comma tkr dot cell first comma tkr dot cell last. So BT is our bolden task and tkr dot cell first is the first point of where we make our selection and tkr dot cell last is the last point where we make our selection. So let me give you an example right here on the screen. If I do that selection there, cell first is before that T here of cell first and cell last after the T of cell last is our last point of the selection. We can also configure a few extra things as well in here by typing in textbox1.tag underscore config. If we type in BT in, in quotation marks again and then comma, we can now specify a font uh, font size and how we want it. So bold, just to make sure it boldens. So type in comma font equals, and then we can type in Georgia in quotation marks, comma 12 as the size, comma, and then bold. And that's our bold one function created. What we need to do now is add our first button to the grid, but type to our main screen by typing in button one dot grid row equals zero and column equals zero. Let's run it now and let's see what we get. So now we have our button here added because this zero is our first row. So this text box now has been pushed to row one as it should be. So let's type in hello. And now we can make our selection and bolden it. And that works but we can't get rid of it yet because we haven't got a normalize. So let's just add some extra text here and then we can bolden that as well. Seems to be working well. Cool. Next thing is to make use of the underline. Let's create our underline button next. 
So if we create our second button in exactly the same way as we created our first button, except our text will be U in quotation marks, and our command will be underline one in this case. So what we need to do is go up, create our function underline one. So you type in def space underline one and open and close bracket colon and then enter. We've now created another function below our first function. So another set of reusable code. And this time we're going to add more tags, but these tags will be different. These tags will underline rather than bold. So if we type in text box one, again calling the name of our text box, dot tag underscore add, and then in brackets type in u in quotation marks, that's the underline. Again, specifying our selection, and now we can configure our tag by typing in text box one dot tag underscore config, and just make sure it underlines, and then underline equals one. And now let's add our second button to our um, screen by typing in button to dot grid row equals zero again on the first row, but this time moving along one column. And now let's run it. We should have our second tag. And we can check to see if that works as well. And what's really good about this tagging is we can actually put tags on top of each other. Second button created. And what I mean by this is say we can bolden this first word, we can underline the second word, and then in the third word we can bold and underline it. So we put two functions on top of each other. And two tags, two sets of tags on top of each other. Which is pretty awesome. So let's now create a third button italicize. Hopefully you should be, uh, have an idea of where we're going and what we should be doing. But let's go through it. Again, create our third button, button three equals tkr.button, capital B. Again, putting it in the main screen. This time our text is I, in quotation marks for italicize. Same height and width, and the command is different being italic one. Okay, so if you go up, we can define italic one exactly the same way as the other two functions that we created above, but instead of B, T, U, we've got now I in quotation marks. And our config is exactly the same, except we've got italic instead of bold. So we've got text box one dot tag underscore config, and then in brackets, I in quotation marks, comma, font equals, font equals, and then a new set of brackets, Georgia in quotation marks, comma, 12 in quotation marks, comma, then italic in quotation marks, and then closing both sets of brackets. So now let's add our third button by to our screen by gridding it again, and we can run it. And now we've got our italicize. So let's just add some text saying subscribe to my channel. And then let's italicize everything. Notice that that works pretty well. And let's use tag, tab to get it into the main screen. And then enter, enter works as well. So let's put it into the center of the screen like this. Subscribe to my channel. And what we can do now is we can bolden that as well and underline that. Pretty awesome. Let's now create another button where we can get rid of everything, get rid of all these tags. So let's say you bolden something like this, subscribe to my channel, and you want to get rid of the bold and the underline and the italicize. So let's come up with a way also where not only that, but we can let's say just get rid of the underline or the italicize. And we can do that by saying, saying if we wanted just the bold tapping, we can use our normalize that gets rid of everything and then click on bold. And that'll put it back to just being bold. So we can create an extra button which enables us to do this, to do all of this. 
And that button is our fourth button. So if we create button four equals tkr.button, capital B, pop it into our main screen. Text is N in this case for normalize. Height to width to and the command in this case is remove tags because we're going to remove all those tags. So let's create a new function called remove tags. And then what we're going to do is create a simple loop where we're just going to get rid of each tag in turn. So def remove tags and then below that type in for tag in and then text box one dot tag names. So for every tag in that text box selection we're going to remove the tag by typing in text box one dot tag underscore delete and then in the brackets tag. So that now has created a way for us to remove any formatting that we don't want. And now let's grid that in We're typing in bottom four dot grid row equals zero column equals three this time. So our column span is now four, matching our text box column span. And now let's run it and see what we have. It should match what we had right at the beginning. So let's type in hello from analyst rising again. Try and match exactly what we had at the beginning. We can bolden this bit. We can underline this one and the size. And let's do everything to this one and remove everything. So let's show you again, right in the middle, just in case you didn't see. So we've got hello. We can bolden this. We can underline this and italicize this. And let's bold, underline, italicize this, and then normalize everything. So that is it for this part. Join me in the next part. We're gonna continue building on what we have here and create our amazing text editor. Thanks very much for watching.